Hey, what's going on, beautiful people? It's Dante, and welcome to the park, a new game. It just released on Steam. It's a psycho horror thriller, and we all know how much I fucking love horror games, right? <laughs> and I already have my diapers on. Let's do this. Let's directly go. Let's go. The park. The park is a narrative experience best played in the dark room. Wearing headphones, okay. It deals with subject matter that may be disturbing to some players. Well, thankfully I got my diapers on. During the course of play, the park may manipulate- Thank you that I was able to read everything. <laughs> I highly appreciate it. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Okay. I guess that's me. It looks Mr. like I'm wearing Bear. headphones. Fuck I what I know. Seen Mr. Bear Callum. Uh, am I? Oh my god, are we psychic? Oh my god, I was totally talking. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. I think I was talking to my son. Are you my son? With my mind. Is that a dragon? Oh, wait, 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 where the fuck are we from? Atlantic, yes? New York, the Empire State. Okay. So. Oh, I guess we cannot sprint. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we cannot sprint. So this is gonna be a long ass fucking game. I have a big chest though. What's that for? Ne oh my god, look at me. I'm beast. Is that an axe? I have an axe as necklace. Oh my god, does that mean I'm gonna chop things up? I, right, I'm in. Hello? No. Where are you from? Oh, you ain't gonna be driving nowhere like that! <laughs> the police is gonna pull you over ASAP! Bingo! Atlantic Island Park! Alright! Attention patrons, the park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. No? Employees prepare the park for shutdown. Don't tell me how to live my life! I wanted to ask for some information! What the fuck? Oh, that's a cute sun, though. Oh, wait, press to interact with objects in the world. Oh, we can't. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, examine. Tom was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. So I guess Callum was born 1977? Oh, shit. Sorry, my bad. He looks about eight or nine. So we're not even in the 90s yet. What's in this rubbish bin? Nothing. Oh, my God. Uh, that doesn't look legit. Why the fuck am I wearing my trousers Lorraine, like that? Is she stupid? Lorraine, don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your the boy fuck? just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. How could he run into the park? I, I thought they closed that place down! Oh, now the gate is open? I swear to God, the gate was closed a second ago. Can we talk? Can we talk about this, sir? Sir? You said you're gonna close down the park. How the fuck was my son able to run in there? Press to shout to Callum. Shouting provides audible and visual clues to guide you. Really? Callum, where are you going? Okay, so Callum is gonna scream now over here, and he's gonna continue running away from me? Is this gonna be the deal? The great search after Callum? Callum, I told you to wait in the car. Come on, mommy. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> park is closed. Let's go. When the park is shut down, that's where you can have the most fun. Atlantic Island Park. I already know. Oh, what's this? Chat the chipmunk rec recommends. Bingo. For the little ones, try the Tunnel of Tails. For the teens, pump up your adrenaline by going through a spin circle. For the big ones, take a romantic spin on the Ferris wheel. Alright! There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees. The Actually, park I... is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Yes! Um, a little advice 
for all of you out there. If you go into a fucking amusement park and you see already a light going off, don't drive anything. Because if they, if a light already breaks, I don't want to fucking know what else breaks in this park. Like, for example, your roller coaster. Hell shit, I ain't driving anything. I'm not driving shit. Nope. Especially <laughs> because this park. Oh the park. What happened here? Uh, this park looks like it. Oh, we can run. I lied. Oh, hell yeah. This park looks like it hasn't been open for a long, long, long Mom? time. I hope we're going to get a to- Oh, there he is. Go run, run, bitch. Why can't I? Go, go. Oh, he's faster than me. That motherfucker. That motherfucker is faster than me. Kill him. Son of a bitch. How can he be faster than me? Oh, shit. Callum is gone. Well! Great. Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. Who the fuck is Carrie? Who is Carrie Killian? Do I, shall we go in there? Should I try? Wait, let's run back first. Let's see what we missed because we were running after Caleb. Oh! Oh! Why is this moving all by itself? <laughs> it's starting, isn't it? Callum, I'm coming for you and I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do to you yet. I'm gonna take away your Game Boy. You're grounded for two months for running away from me. I already think everything is in my mind. In my mind, I think I'm... Oh, oh. I think I'm fucked up in my head. As usual. That's how old Psycho Thriller ends, or even start. The... <laughs> the protag... Do you say that in English? The protagonist? I think it's a protagonist. It's just fucked up in his head. Her head. Too dark. I'm not going in there without a flashlight. Okay, this game has a flashlight confirmed. I think that's great. Oh, we cannot sprint then now in this grass, apparently, I guess. Oh my god, is this a real door? Wait for mommy. No, no, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming, stupid. Hold up. I'm on my way, Cal. You're just too fast for your old mommy, you know? <laughs> especially, especially I am pretty the stupid because how the fuck am I wearing my trousers and my top? The fuck was that? Uh oh. Examine. Oh my god, is that Callum's shoe? I think this belongs to Callum. Oh snap! Ah, that ain't good. Those are some 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 nice shoes though. Stop, Callum! Come on this way. Oh, the shoes the shoes are gone. Oh, that's the chipmunk. Oh, so he went to the for teenagers. All right, so it's gonna be the spin wheel. Just a drunk guy in a suit. Oh, that, that was that was pretty unf offensive. Chad the chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless sub. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Do they really write that in amusement parks? That that's that's pretty fucked up. I guess I ain't gonna bring my kid then to an amusement park. Shall we look behind? Shall we look behind us? Okay, let's do it. Oh, we're good. All right. All right, that's good. That's good. Hello. Callum! Catch me, mommy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, that, that's not that. Oh! Callum, stay where you are. Am I gonna have to go into that duck? Is that waiting for me? Am I- Oh my- Why does it sound like it's right in my mouth? The fuck am I hearing? Where did you go? I wonder from where all those speaking sounds are coming. Ah, so I get it. So kind- So- we are looking for our son, and apparently it's the best idea to, to go into the, the ride the swan. That's how we're gonna find our son. Okay, let's ride the swan then, I guess. Oh, uh, all right, all right, okay, 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 okay. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool, like a psycho thriller, horror thriller in an amusement park, and then you can actually ride things. That's pretty cool. I like that blue coloring, though. 
Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Ah, oh, all right. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. Are they going to move? I oh, know. Okay, okay. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, Fuck. my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. All right. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Ten out of ten child story. Wood. Next morning, Read again. Woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no oh. more food that day. Oh! Clever no! Hansel leaves a trail of Yo. stones behind them as they pass into the woods. You when best be leaves, mechanic or some shit. Wait a while, then follow the trail back to I their fucking warn house. you. I dare you. Oh, thank God. All right. <laughs> receiving a thorough scolding we can't look back. For getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Oh, my. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Oh. Oh. Yo! Okay, Hansel story ended. Oh no. Okay, story is going on. Trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Oh snap. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for 3 days. Straight out of luck, I'd say. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. I <laughs> He's gonna eat that fucking house down. Seems like a good idea. At my house! house. <laughs> An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. So oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. Yes. No harm will come to you. I've got, if you but see a lady with such a long nose. For the old woman reminded them of their cruel. Not in a million years. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. So am I actually now looking for my son? To eat. Or am you I just gonna... Nothing to fear here. Listen to child stories. Um, why did you go? The old woman urged, oh, did and the children, go? still licking their sweets, followed. Oh, did I trigger now something because I called after Callum? Once inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. I kind of doubt that's going to happen. I think they're going to wreck your ass. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, <laughs> for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. 
climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Gretel? Fool! The old Sounds said, like that. The opening is here. And she oh. to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove. And the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel Wrecked. freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Yep, and that's what you read and your then, kids? Because even children at night on sweets. Oh, look they at their mouth. Up the body of the old witch and ate her. I kind of, I have to be really honest, and I guess a lot of you are going to laugh about me. I have never read, nor do I know much about Hansel and Gretel, but I am pretty sure that... You motherfucking son of a goose bitch. No, swan. That's right. That's right. No. Oh my god. Why would you do that, swan? Why would you do that to me? No, regardless, I highly doubt that in a child story that those two kids ate the witch. Oh my god, did that really happen? I really don't know. Oh my god, I have to Google that. <laughs> I have to really Google that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, now there's no more blood on that uh, on the swan. Stop hiding, Callum. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Seriously? Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister. Hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry. Looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Okay, then. I guess. I would never read that story. Especially if it's brutal Another like accident. that. This place. Oh, the park. Oh, there's blood. Yep. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, let's open the door. Ah, uh, Callum! I think I found Mr. Bear! <laughs> Despite the constant interruptions the, to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried, blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm not much of a reader anyway. Fuck this shit. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Okay, let's try if we can go to Mr. Bear. Oh shit, we can't go to Mr. Bear. But thank God he has a knife stuck in his eye. Jesus Christ. What is going on in this park? Callum, stay where you are. We found We found Mr. Bear Callum! <laughs> Why is he still running away from me? What's in there? Oh nothing, okay, it's a straight way. Oh! The fuck? That's some demonic shit going on through that speaker. Where are you? Callum! <laughs> he should always be right here. He sounds so near and yet is so far. Callum! Oh, is that now the next thing that we're gonna be riding? Okay, I can't wait. I'm actually really looking forward to this. What's that? Oh, no. Nice okay, yeah, let's go. Oh my god, you can't catch me, you son of a bitch. What's up with Callum? Therefore, the, the park is actually shut down. I'm pretty amazed that everything is still intact. So that's why already my best guess is that we're done. We're this good. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It make me dizzy. <laughs> quack, quack, quack. He, he sounded like he would be behind me right now. This is so awkward. Callum, where are you? All right. Oh. Alright, let's read this. I just 
snapped. Those poor kids. Whoa, 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 whoa. Eyewitness report. We were waiting for our turn on the right. Frank, me, and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They give me the creeps. I agree. <laughs> anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice. And at first, we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or lion. But as more and more ice fell away, when you first looked, it was like a human face smiling out of that block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster. Like you were prey, and that thing in the ice was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. And then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments, it was chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming and Frank and I had the kids and we were dragging them away as fast as we could and the last thing i saw before frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture making the horrible creature look more or less alive well holy fucking shit so i guess that's why the park was closed down here the mass slaughter of the chipmunk happened and then they wanted to reopen it well, let's see if we can ride this bitch Oh, we can totally do. What? R ride Octotron? Wait, let's see if we can maybe speed this bitch. Oh my god, we can increase. Yeah, let's do this. Wait, wait, wait. Hell yeah. Let's make it really, really fast. Hold up. All right, all right. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo, woo. Get pumped. I can't ride get it. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, we can. Aw. Oh. All right, I guess we're gonna have to take the boring way. All right, slowing down. Yes, and I know that while it's driving really fast, we actually cannot get on it, but I thought maybe we would just cut scene jump inside or something. Let's go. Whee! <laughs> Whee! Awesome! Callum! Oh, I can't scream after Callum? Okay. Oh my God, now I'm gonna see something, ain't I? Oh, I already saw him, da I think, down there, in the cabin. I think someone is in the cabin. Check it out. Yo, someone is standing there. Someone is standing in there. Who is that? Oh, hey. Hello. Uh, what, uh, what? How's it going, sir? How's it going? Well, that was a short ride now, wasn't it? And I paid 10 bucks for this shit. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my God. The fuck is that? Oh, that was the huge guy that we just saw. And now he's going to be gone, isn't he? Sir? Oh, yeah, look at him. And now he's gone. Son of a bitch. All right. Let's bring this back up to speed, just to drive the electricity bills a bit up for this park. <laughs> just to be an asshole. Or can we use this? No, okay, we can't look through. Callum? Where did you go? Callum. Where do I have to go? This way or that way? I don't know. Okay, let's let's go, let's go this way then. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, 
all the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. I think I just found Mr. Bear, and who the fuck is that? I think I really just found Mr. Bear. Look, <gasps> Mr. Bear! I'm gonna come to save you, Mr. Bear! Oh my god, I'm not gonna read all that. I thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of. <laughs> so, this letter in short, Laura Henman. So, technically, chat. Oops. So, technically. I c how the fuck do I. Whoa! Oh! I was like, how the fuck do I back out of this note? Alright, alright, it's, it's going down, huh? Is that bitch still there? Oh, she's still be- oh my god, okay, goosebumps are starting, this game is starting. Okay, so, so in short, that note, right? Chad, the chipmunk, the guy in the, in the suit is called Steve, and he refused to take off the suit at any time. He would even take it with him at home and shit. And Laura Henman, who wrote that note, Steve, was apparently her words, I quote, I fucking her, and that creeped out. She didn't want to be I fucked by Steve, aka Chad, the chipmunk. The fuck was that? Can we go in that building now or nah? Okay, I, I, I don't quite understand, but looking for the bear, I found the bear. I'm not allowed to get the bear. Okay, then. Okay, game over. I managed it. <laughs> is the game done? Well, I mean, fuck Callum, right? <laughs> I mean, if he wants to always run away, it's his own goddamn fault now, isn't it? You look cute. I kind of like it. Hello. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Are you in there, Callum? Oh, what is that? Oh my god. Uh, uh, do you call that auto scooter? Constant crashes in 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. Yeah, mine! That's awesome! It's fun! In, in, in German, you would call it... Uh, shit. How the fuck do you call it in German? Oh my god, I don't even know my languages anymore. Uh, auto scooter. I think. We're just gonna call it... Car scooter. How about that? Let's agree on a car scooter. Let's do this. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Can I drive this bitch, please? Oh, come on! Oh, come, please. Please, 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 please. Oh. I'm really not allowed to drive it. Oh, give me a break, please. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm strong. Boop. <laughs> okay. Callum. Oh. Mommy, where you are. Oh, I'd have to drive this specific one, I guess. Yeah, you already said that, stupid. Oh, there, there. With that one, we're allowed to drive with the lights on. Hell yeah. Examine. Oh, accident report. How the fuck can an accident happen here? Brief description of the accident or incident. During the transport of the bumper cars into the arena, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, that poor fuck, who was standing directing, uh, what, directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Describe any injury of, uh, injuries caused. <laughs> Describe the injuries, please. He was killed. Is that description enough? <laughs> Did the injured employee see it? <laughs> yes, the, the killed the the killed uh, employee Francis, who is dead, went to see a doctor. So check. If yes, did you file an employer's portion of a worker's compensation form? Yes. Yes, Francis is gonna be really happy about the compensation. <laughs> oh, Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone. On the back of the load, undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. Ooh. The what? The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. Oh my god. And at the end, Dexter killed them all. I mean, we all saw Dexter, right? Oh, let's, let's get the fuck off! Yes, stand there! Jesus, yes. Watch, watch it, watch it. Just stand there doing nothing. <laughs> that seems pretty clever. What? Oh my god, we can't drive Stay anything. Oh my god, look at that. Do you guys see that over there, the roller coaster? Hell fuck yeah, I want to drive that. But first, I guess we will have to go up here. And you seem a bit kaput. Hello? Let's call after Callum. Mommy is coming, Callum. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. 
Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. What the fuck? Ah, it's a shame that we cannot interact with uh, buildings. That we can't go in and... Thing. Yeah, yeah, okay, I know where we have to go. Alright, let's drive then this Ferris wheel, I guess. Oh, and there goes the baby again. That's comforting. <laughs> no, that's just great. Baby, no. Come on, really, really fast. Double time. Oh my god, that's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty fast. Hell yeah. I'd ride that. Come on, come on. You can go faster. You can go faster. Yep, go, 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 go! Oh my god, there's even one missing. Well, shit. Is that my fault? <laughs> Alright, let's decrease it. Then we can go in. Oh, there's again that. Oh my god, there he is again. Let's have this romantic drive all together, shall we? So, <laughs> let's have this chat. What do you, what do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> All right, what's gonna happen here? Let's talk about this Ferris wheel. It kind of looks up to date. Good in form. Nothing's gonna happen People in here. Into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching That doesn't me. sound good. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't uh. tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Damn, she got we pregnant together, fast. But then, well, he died. Oh, sh According oh shit. The supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes oh. people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay, so... Callum's dad, my boyfriend. We were, I don't, I don't, I, we weren't married. I don't think she said that right now. He was working here, and what I wanted to say, I really love that when a game actually manages when you're riding it, right? When you're like up in a Ferris wheel, um, for example, and you, oh look, there he is again, and you actually like feel the height. Like when you're up there and you look down, that you actually like have this feeling in your stomach as if you would really be there. If a game can manage that, I think that's really cool. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's a, oh, there you go. Those, there are the missing fairy wheel uh, carts. I'm just going to call them carts right now. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Take the roller coaster ticket from a doll. Okay. Well, I get- I got lucky then, I guess, now, didn't I? Holy shit! Did I get the ticket? Okay, I got the ti- You're gonna stay a doll, right? Alright, okay. You- you better fucking stay a doll. Where- where did it roll off to? It's gone! Where- where did it go? Oh, oh, we're getting angry! Oh my god, did you- Mommy? He's watching you, alright! A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. 
Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them. Little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. What? The... F what the fuck? Okay, so like two minutes back, I was worried about him, Kala. And now I am like Stay this... Where you are. Okay, that's really not comforting that somebody's... Oh my god, I am so angry now. I'm like this angry bitch. Oh my god, my mood suddenly changed. And I really think that I am, or she is, the worst mother in the history of ever. Oh my god, she like literally hates her child. Great. Oh my god, that is so mean. But I guess this is gonna be now a good point to call it an episode. And in the next episode, we're gonna be then... Oh, it's right there. I can already see it. In the next episode, we're gonna be riding that roller coaster. And let's see to what my mood is gonna change then. <laughs> holy shit. No, seriously. Holy shit. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As usual, friends, thank you very much for watching. And hopefully see you next episode. Bye-bye. It's a thief's mask. I'm a ninja. You're not a ninja. I'm a Oh! What am I doing? Being a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the dead rat again. Well, that- Oh, uh oh. Oh, the dead rat is gone. Well, isn't that too bad? Okay, don't miss- Oh! Don't miss you, dead rat. Don't look back. Okay, let's- <laughs> <laughs>